a decisive winner take all game three in the men's college world series championship set between Tennessee and Texas A&M two SEC foes both battling for their first national championship in program history the Vols last made the CWS finals prior to this year back in 1951 A&M had never reached the championship set in Omaha so so much on the line last night in Omaha Nebraska and it ends with a volunteer victory Tennessee holds on late six to five to win its first ever national title so many historic trends coming to a head last night Tennessee the first number one national seed to win a national championship since the very first year of this national seeding format back in 1999 when the Miami Hurricanes stood atop the mountaintop in college baseball now it's standing atop Rocky Top for Tennessee five years under Tony Vitello they're in Knoxville they have made the NCAA tournament every single year back-to-back appearances in Omaha in the College World Series reaching the CWS in three of the past four seasons but prior to Tony Vitello taking the reins DRS in Knoxville this proud volunteers baseball program had missed not just the CWS but the NCAA tournament 13 consecutive years from that in a five-year span to now being crowned a national champ for the first time in program history give Tony Vitello all the flowers he deserves no absolutely and also you take a look at the SEC total here like back in the day oh just a football conference and like oh now they're a baseball conference and now playing sensational college basketball as well what a job they've done and also just by taking a look at who actually made the college world series you see that strong influence from the SEC in an all SEC final but also here's what you like we saw it yesterday in the NHL game you're the home team here you think you're the better team right you get out to the lead first you te- don't leave any options because I understand the Edmonton Oilers tied up that game but just the emotions of getting that first goal. Okay, we're in it here. Let's play some good hockey. That was a championship. Same thing with Tennessee yesterday, Ben. What do you want to do in that first inning? How about go deep early to get us a one nothing lead? Take all that pressure off. It's okay. Let's settle in. We're the better team. Let's win this. And they did that. That's what I was most impressed with yesterday. And boy, it was yeah. hot out there. That environment was lively. Oh. The crowd was into it early. You just wanted to say, okay, let's get ourselves out to lead. Even though in the end, it got really close there and a solo home run would have sent this to extra innings. I really really enjoyed that game specifically watching some of the highlights late in there because I was watching early wow all right Tennessee's in it to win it and they end up winning the game it was huge for Tennessee and a slide that happened in the bottom of the seventh when the balls added what we thought was just insurance scoring three runs Hunter Ensley getting around the catcher for A&M and tapping the plate with his right hand in an acrobatic move it was just super cool to see one of the best baseball slides you will ever see it ended up being the game winning in national championship clinching run for the volunteers again the first number one national seed since 1999 to win a national title now just from the betting perspective Tennessee was the favorite entering Omaha they were a minus 180 favorite for the decisive game three last night total was 10 and a half the Vols were up six to one at the end of the seventh my best bet yesterday under 10 and a half runs felt pretty comfortable with where things stood in the final two innings now we go to the top of the ninth Texas A&M scores a run 6-4 ball game all the insurance off the board then A&M has a runner on first He is allowed to take second base on a stolen base, but uncontested because they don't care about that run. A bonk sends the runner to third, and then a wild pitch on a 1-2 count, on an 0-2 count, rather, scores that fifth run for the Aggies. Total goes over very next pitch. The game clinching and national championship clinching strike three. A bad beat to end it, but not if you bet the Volunteers early. A plus 230 price before the College World Series began in the Big O. Hey, it's tough scene. Hey, it happens sometimes that way, and you're just trying to hold on. But let me play out this scenario for you, Ben, right? Please. You're in Omaha yesterday. It's like, what, what was the temperature? 100, 103 degrees, 104 degrees at first yeah. pitch here. 
if you were playing this in a city like Miami, don't stadium, oh, air conditioning, no. fans going crazy. Hold on, hold Cut on. Mike, Miami me out always, here. of course, you South win, Florida, very well you known win for that game, very calm and weather. you go right to South Beach with the kids. You go to Mangoes, you hang out. You, you get go all the right to Rocco's and it. you have some jello shots. You go to close. Platt right, right outside the closed. stadium to the, the rooftop and have a great time. No bars By the way, as we focus on the greatness, Dylan Dryling hit a home run in all three games. In the CWS Finals for so Tennessee, memorable. including in that seventh so inning, Christian Moore leading off the game with a home run. Hour two is up next.